Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister, and the brand new adventure. If we change campaign here, we can see the Lost Valley starting at level 1. This is a brand new expansion with nine new subclasses, one for each of the available classes in the game. But before we can jump into a new campaign, we need a new party. So there is a new subclass for each of the nine classes available in the game. And so what I'm going to do is rather than select for myself, I have over here a dice roller. Now we've lost the game audio, but that's fine. I'm just going to do nine dice, uh, nine sided dice, six of them in, to avoid duplicates. And if we stop that, we've got one, nine, four, two, eight, five. So we'll lose the last two because we don't have any duplicates. So we're going to have one, nine, four, two. Let's get the new character sheet up. Yes, leave that alone. Characters. We need a new character. Uh, I don't know what class I'm going to be. So I don't know what race to be yet. So give me a human for now. So we have one barbarian, nine wizard, four fighter, two cleric. So that's the makeup of the party. So number one, we're having a barbarian. If we're having a barbarian, then for ancestry, we probably want something with extra strength. So what's that going to be? Half orc, probably. Yep. Let's do that. Let's get ourselves. Uh, let's go with this burly looking half orc here. So that's going to be a barbarian. And we're going to be playing Path of the Claw, the new one in this DLC. So these subclasses are granted at level 3, so we won't worry about that for now. Do we want to change our starting equipment? A great axe seems fine to me. Yeah, that looks good. Then we need a background. The Wanderer came in on the Primal Calling DLC, but let's see. We want proficient with medium armor. We don't need that because we're going to have our rage and our unarmored defense so wanderer smith's tools herbalism kits proficient in survival and nature i think that's good we'll have a a pragmatic egoist who is a little bit violent and a little bit of a cynic now we are going to roll the dice and we're going to roll them once so no vetoes, no drops. We're going to do this the most randomized way we can. So here is our first reroll for our Barbarian. We can choose wherever we want to put the stats, but one reroll. Are we ready? Okay. It's like almost average. It's not great. And a lot of, like, odd numbers is not great either. But clearly, this is going to be strength. This is going to be con. And then we're going to have to dump some stuff, really. Give me a 12 on dex. And we're just going to have to dump all of the other stats, aren't we? All right, we're going with stereotype the dumb barbarian. But, you know, we'll do what we can with that. Skills, we need to pick two more. It seems like, oh, we'll take athletics, sure, and we're not going to be using animal handling in the game, so give me perception. And then we just need to change the look of this one, so I will do that very quickly. All right, here we have Talk the Barbarian with his tusks and his pulled back hair. So. With talk done, that is number one. We need a new character. And then on our little multi-choice here, it was nine next, which is going to be a wizard, I think. And so we want somebody with extra intelligence. Who's going to have extra intelligence? Elf is dex two and intelligence one on high elf. Constitution one, dex... Charisma, Dex. 
Charisma 2 and two other scores by one each. So it looks like we're going to go High Elf for our wizard. Let's have a, a Lady High Elf. And a wizard. We pick our Arcane Tradition at level 2. Yes, but we will be a Court Mage because that is the new one. Uh, equipment... I prefer a dagger to a quarter staff because I'm presuming we're going to go higher on dex than we are strength. Component pouch is fine. Scholar's pack is all good. Uh, we'll probably take the academic. We get the. Uh, do we get proficiency with the Malakan and Rosary or do we get that with just being a wizard? Proficient with the Malakan and Rosary. So that lets us enchant magic items later. Uh, let's go for a pragmatic egotist here and they can be an authority but kind and here we have our great big singular role for our wizard our survey says oh god okay well it's going to be a 14 in intelligence a 14 in dex a 12 in con we are dumping strength to high hell. And then wisdom and charisma. We're going to need a high charisma member of the party. I don't know who that's going to be, but this is not going great so far. But that's fine. So let's get some history and investigation. Give me dwarvish and Old Tamarian, and Orkish. You can just know all of the language. We need an Ancestry cantrip. Uh, let's go for something that's not an attack here, because this is the Ancestry one. I think we'll just take Light, shall we? And then we need three Class cantrips. So we will go for Firebolt, chill touch and give me give me a poison spray and six class spells okay I have no idea what this new campaign entails so we're just going to have to do our best guesswork thunder wave, sleep, shield magic missile mage armor and something else Never used Charm Person before. Featherfall is good if we're working in big 3D spaces, but we have no idea if we will be. We can change some of this stuff later. Uh, probably identify, right? If we're going to want to identify all the magic stuff we're going to come across. And then we're going to need some names and adornments, so I will do that a second. And here we have Jaina Fastmind. Now, hold on. My stats give me a dex 16 and intelligence 15. How did we get to that? Don't make me pick all this stuff again. This is plus one from Ancestry. Okay, these are both 14s. That's fine. Please tell me this stuff is all still remembered. It's not. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Redo that. Uh, we did Dwarfish, Ultimarian, Orkish. Next. Light. Chill Touch, Firebolt. Poison Spray. Thunderwave Sleep, Shield. Mage Armor. Um, identify Magic Missile. And that's all remember. That was... Jaina, something auto done, keen mind, that'll do. Right, so that was number two. Number four was our next number. So if we go to a new character, next is going to be a fighter. So again, somebody who's strong is going to be preferable. But we are going to need a charismatic person on the team and our last one is going to be a cleric so 
We don't have any kind of charisma caster on the team, so perhaps a half-elf will be a good choice here. So this was number four, a fighter. And that is going to be a commander chosen at level three. Uh, this equipment, I'm sure, will be fine. We did not have a cell sword yet. We already have proficiency in medium armor. Sure, give me... Give me an acolyte. A lawful, cautious acolyte who is lawful and pragmatic. And then we have to do the big scary dice roll. Our survey says... Oh god, it's terrible. It's so bad. Ah, oh, it's so bad. Strength. Con. Dex. Charisma. Wisdom. Intelligence. We get one more strength for a 14. And one more stat anywhere. We'll put it into con. We're going to need more con, aren't we? Uh, we need a fighting style. We could go protection and get up in the fight with the barbarian and offer some disadvantage on that. Although, yeah, because if they're raging recklessly, their foes will have advantage. So then maybe we can do disadvantage on that so we'll go protection then we need some skills oh god we can't be stealthing in like full armor this is going to go terribly um, give me deception and persuasion and intimidation congratulations you're the voice of the party this can only end terribly. Um, we have all of the ones that are needed, so give me more Orkish, more Old Tamarian. And we need names. Right, I'll do this bit for you. And here we have Polly Puncture Lung, as she intends to do. And lastly on our dice was number two, and that was a cleric to be made. So a cleric is a wisdom caster. So somebody with an a wisdom extra elf is probably going to be good for that, I imagine. Hill Dwarf has plus one wisdom and the extra constitution. Haven't really been given any consideration to dark vision, but we're basically all going to have it. Unaffected by heavy armor penalties. Then, sure, let's take a hill dwarf. Con plus two, wisdom plus one. That's going to be a cleric. And we pick our divine domain at level one. That is going to be the mischief cleric. And so we always get these spells, Charm Person, Expeditious Retreat, Blur, Invisibility, Hypnotic Pattern, Slow, Confusion, Greater Invisibility, Dominate Person, and Hold Monster, at their respective levels, of course. Trickster, Proficiency with Stealth and Deception, Borrowed Luck, when you fail a saving throw where you did not have disadvantage, you can use your reaction to roll again. If you succeed, you will have disadvantage on your next saving throw. So, let's take that stuff. We need our Mischief Cleric selection here. Then for this, we could go Spy, because we're going to need somebody in the team who has um, Thieves Tools proficiency. So we'll be a greedy, cautious thief of a Cleric. And we can be greedy and a bit violent, you know. You know how these things are. Right, if, oh, if I could have taken that set of dice, that would have been incredible. But no, we have to click the button once and only once. 
Oh, thank God, a good character. Oh, this cleric is going to carry this team. Right. First of all, a 17 in wisdom. A... Do we want a 17 in con? Or do I want it somewhere else? Because we're going to get plus two from the con. And we already get extra HP for being a hill dwarf. So we could put it into strength or dex. Probably strength for our particular weapon set. So if we do this, then that, then we'll put some into dex, then we're just not going to be a charismatic cleric, apparently. But just the fact that we have one person with good stats is going to be pretty good enough for me. Um, give me really high insight, really high medicine, elvish, sure. Uh, Ultimarian for everybody. Then class cantrips. We want spare the dying, guidance, and sacred flame, the classics. And it's going to be Bjorn Stronghammer. Fine by me. And why Why would you mess with that beard, honestly? Artistic note? Not much. No! All right, I think, I think they are good to go. So, we have our team. We have our campaign. Join me next time for our formal session one after this session zero, where we will be starting up on the new adventure of the Lost Valley. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments about anything that you've seen or any questions about D&D 5th Edition or Solasta in general, do let me know. I have done an entire campaign of the original campaign here on YouTube as well, so you can check that out down in the, uh, not the comments section, the description. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.